Lars von Trier saw one of my plays in Denmark and he said, would I like to um, make a film? And so I said, yes, I'd love to. And he said, what would you like to make it about? I said, about second generation immigrants who are unable to integrate into Danish society. And he said, okay, he said, what do you need? I said, I just need a sound stage and two directors of photography and then I'll go. He said, are you going to make a script? I said, yes, I've made one. And I said, here it is. But actually, there wasn't a script. It just had writing on the front page, but it was, there was nothing in it. So every day, I would go into the film set with all these professional technical crew and say to them, today we're doing this. And that's actually what was on the page. <laughs> so one day, uh, the, they didn't know. One day, the technical crew all bandied together. It's very interesting and strange what happened. I shouldn't be telling you, but I will. They bandied together and they said, it's a revolution. We are not working for you anymore. You don't know what you're doing. You have no idea what you're doing. And I said, that's true, but you're working for me making this film and it's been commissioned, so why don't you just do it? So I carried on and in the middle of, uh, they left, uh, they carried on doing their roles and in the middle of the afternoon a young boy from S Somalia he stood out, you're going to see this scene in a minute, he stood out of the film and he said I don't want to act, he said, I'd rather be me and you don't know who I am because I've killed people and this is who I am and in fact you lot are pissing me off, in fact I could kill you all and the crew were like this and then there was all this noise behind the sound curtain where all the sound mixers were. And so I thought, right, I'm going to deal with them afterwards. So the scene ended, I sat him down, he was just explosive, sat him down, I went round to the sound crew and I said, what's going on? You know, I was working, could you not keep it quiet? And they said, um, oh, Lars von Trier was here, watching what was going on. I said, how long was he here for? And they said, oh, he was here for about 45 minutes. He saw that whole breakdown. So I thought, oh shit, that's me, I'm going to be kicked out of here, I'm on my way back to UK. <laughs> the next morning we had our normal Danish morning meeting, which usually involves 28 people, and it's a, it's a prelude to another meeting, but you have this morning meeting, you all sit down. And my producer, who wasn't the nicest guy in the world, sat down and he said, before you start your meeting, I just want to say this, Lars von Trier was in yesterday, and there was this pause and I thought, oh no, I packed my suitcase, ready to go. He said, and he thinks it's one of the best things that Zentrope has produced in 10 years and you must all do as Jeremy says. So when he left, I turned to them all, I said, I don't care if you never work with me again, I don't care if you never work with untrained actors again, you do as you're told from now on. And the film went on to win the highest Danish film prize. So that was my movement from theatre to film.